hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video we will retrieve all the post of an online user updated so whenever a user uh, click on this post then here in this activity we will display all the post that is let's say I'm a user so how much post I updated I will display that post I mean that post should be displayed there okay so we will work on that in this video tutorial. So in the previous video tutorial, we have created this activity my post, I mean the my post activity, and we have added a toolbar. Now in this video, what we're gonna do? We need to add a recycler view here so that we can use that recycler view with the fibrous recycler adapter to retrieve the post. Okay, so go to the text and this is the toolbar. Now here we can see you can simply write R E C Y recycle. And you can see this recycle view appear here drag and drop this here so this is our recycler view and make sure that the width should be match parent height should be match parent and give it the ID as my all post list my all post list and now uh, go to the my post activity and let's here we can say private recycler view Sorry for that recycler view and let's call this as my post list and here inside our own create method can say my post list equals to recycle view find view by id or dot id dot my post list my all post list now we need to set the fixed size and the linear layout manager for this so we have already write the code for that so for the time saving i will go to the main activity and here uh, we have this you can see this uh, on our main activity here we have this post list dot set has fixed size linear layout manager up to this set layout post list dot set linear layout manager control c copy this code from here and now go to the my post activity back and pass that code here so yeah that's it and now we have to change this to my post list and this post list to my post list yeah that's it and now here we need to create a first we will call a method and then we will work on that method so the name of our that method will be display my all posts so this is the method we are calling that method here and let's create that method now and you can see that this is our method and now inside this method by using the firebase recycler adapter we are going to retrieve the uh, all post of an online user and let me assure you that we will use the firebase query for that so here we can say firebase recycler firebase recycler adapter and as you know it needs two parameters the first one uh, I mean the module class we have already created this first class when we were retrieving all the posts from all the users so you can see that we have already created this so we don't need to create another one that's why we create that class post and now the second class it needs is the static class which we uh, will create it now and now for that uh, after this here we can create that so here we can say public static class and let's call this as my post view holder and it should extends the recycler view dot view holder and now inside this class as you can see that it shows an error all we need uh, is I mean it needs a constructor so you can simply click here on mouse uh, right button and here you can see this generate click there and click this constructor and you can see that the error is gone successfully and we have this my post view holder um, constructor now here we can say view and let's call this as M view and inside here we can say m view equals to item view which is our this object okay 
now come here above and here we have to write it so we can say my post view holder let's call this as firebase recycler adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and alongside with this this popular view holder method is created make sure to put here a semicolon and now first of all uh, it need three parameters you can see this okay so we will write three parameters here so the first one is our posts dot class comma or dot layout dot all post layout and let me tell you that this is the layout which we created in the previous tutorial I hope you remembered if I show you then this is the all post layout when we will retrieving the posts and uh, that I mean all our posts from all user on our home on main activity you can see that okay so that is our that layout we don't need to create another layout and then we can add this my post sorry my post view holder dot class comma and now we need a reference to our post node so for that come here above and here we need to create first let create a firebase auth also so we can say firebase auth let's call this as m auth and now we can say private database reference and we can call this as post ref post reference and now inside our own create method here we can say post ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and we have a child in our database by the name posts posts now to get the uh, online user id you know that we have to use this mo to we can say mo equals to firebase auth dot get instance and we need to create here a string type variable so we can say a private string and let's call this as current user id and here we can say current user id equals to m auth dot get current user so in this way we can sorry here we have to write get uid so in this way we get the id of an online user so we will be needing this id that's why we retrieve this so this is our post ref so let's pass that post ref here we will later change it to firebase query at the end of this video so now what we're gonna do we have to retrieve the profile image the post picture and post description and we have to display it so for that uh, as you know that we are using this post class so we have already uh, retrieved all these things on our main activity so go to the main activity which is this one and now here come down here and we have this public static class post view holder so here we have this uh, you can see this uh, public void set full name so copy this method from here control C and go to the my post activity and paste that here and now all we need is to go to the main activity and for the profile page copy this method from here and we will paste that here and now we need to copy this time date description and this post image method also so copy this and paste these methods here which is the set time set date set description and set post image so yeah that's it for the i mean for this method which is my post view holder and now inside this populate view holder here we need to come here to the main activity and here we have this display all user post and inside this this populate view holder 
and copy this view holder dot set full name set time date and this description so copy this up to here control c and go back to the my post activity and paste that code here now the last thing is to set this uh, I mean this Firebase Recycler adapter and to add the Firebase query because we are simply referencing this to the post node. So for retrieving all of my posts, I mean the online user post. So for this we will use a query. So we can say query, the Firebase query basically. And let's call this as my posts query equals to and we have already wrote that query when we were working on our profile activity for displaying the total number of posts so go to the profile activity and here if you scroll down we have this post ref dot select this from here dot order by child uid start at and end at this okay control c copy this which is uid dot and dot start at dot end at and this utf which is the unicode control c and go back to the my post activity and paste that code here and make sure to put a semicolon here and here we have to add our post ref so you can see that post ref and change this to current user id which we are retrieving here on our this activity which is the online user id if i show you then this one okay so yeah that's it and this is order by child uid started and it and that's it now remove this post ref from here and we need to pass our my post query here to display the all post from an online user now we have to set this uh, firebase recycler adapter so here you can see this uh, after this uh, semicolon we can say my post list dot set adapter to the firebase recycler adapter so yeah that's it and now let's run the app to see if it is working or not so you can see that our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the profile and here we have three posts if you see that then click on this button and here we go you can see that one two Three. and I show you this in the database in the previous tutorial if you remember okay so this user has uh, updated three posts so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will further work on it if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe and make sure to follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook